In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most free-to-play loadout for both coins and seashells inside Pet Simulator 99. So make sure you watch the video all the way until the end if you want to know the best way to earn coins and seashells free-to-play. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out on the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet and with that good luck all right so here we go we are now in the last area so i mean if you haven't unlocked this make sure you do because you know this, this is completely going to work i guess it could have worked uh because i mean it's pretty much the best area of whatever you've unlocked but the best best area is going to be the volcano island right here so you want to make sure you actually get good enough stat heads and that's going to help, definitely help you a ton now the uh the first loadout that i'm going to go over is going to be the coins loadout and we're going to focus on just the five slots i'm not going to focus on the sixth slot because if you have this that means that you're pay to win now you're not no longer free to play so we're just going to focus on these five because these are the only five slots actually six i miscounted yeah six slots so i'm just going to focus on all six of these which is the most you can unlock free to play and so as you can see uh we have the uh, coins uh tier nine book and this thing is probably the most op tier out of all of them uh it does cost 400k gems so if uh, you, you don't have that much you can just buy a coins like a lower tier one uh the lower tier ones are even more cheaper like the coins eight one is only 26k which is more than 10 times cheaper definitely want to you know if you don't have like you know critical either uh, you want to get like a downgraded version of it it still is pretty good not even that much worse and so yeah this brings us to a critical you want also want to have a critical bug and it's going to help your pets with uh, actually breaking the breakables and then we have the Midas touch which actually uh, makes the breakables give out a ton more coins so you definitely want to have this it's only 800 gems really op and then this speed five book it's going to increase uh, pet speed by 100 percent this is pretty op you also want to have this on also the magnet three uh, is going to make your bank distance 25 so you can pretty much collect drops around the entire area as long as you stand inside of the middle and lastly we have the happy pets which is pretty much like uh the speed five book but it also uh, makes your pets attack 40% quicker, which is pretty good. And also, if you don't have really good stat pets, like if you don't have like, you know, like at least like uh, rainbow pineapple monkeys, you can uh, instead go back into enchants. You can swap out the magnet three book because, because it's probably the least important one out of all of them. And you can swap it out with a strong pet. All right, so this is the letter you pretty much want for coins. Now, in terms of seashells, it's pretty much the same exact thing, but you just want to get rid of the coins uh, six book and the Midas touch. And instead, you want to swap it out with a treasure hunter buck and then you can also add uh i mean pretty much anything you want like a super lightning uh or a strong pet buck uh, either one works well and obviously same thing with uh you know with the strong pets you can actually get a lower tier uh it's like a tier down and it's a whole lot cheaper and as a bonus tip if you want you know, extra coins you actually want to put up coin flags or fortune flags and if you want seashells so make sure to either put the exotic treasure flag shiny flag or the rainbow flag uh the strength flag also works if you don't have good stat pets and make sure to always have some fruits and toys active at all times so as you can see they actually give you a ton of boost make sure to have them all i, I mean i i only put them on during videos but you really should be putting them on pretty much always these buffs can really significantly increase your you know pretty much the amount of stuff that you actually collect but if you want to know the newest best way to get a huge pet inside a pet simulator 99 make sure to check out this video right here